The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has started a performance enhancement and life extension program for AL-31 engines that powers the Su-30 aircraft of the Indian Air Force. GTR -E will use some of the technologies developed for dry cavalry engine in the upgrade program that will result in improved performance and extended life of the engine. Hindustan Aeronautics will begin testing several Super Shukhoi components in 2024, and the aircraft will also get the Utam Mark III radar in 2025, that will keep the Su-30 relevant in the future aerial warfare. Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics are progressing towards limited-scale production of long-range dual-band infrared search and track system for Su-30 aircraft that will be used for development testing from mid-2024 onwards. The indigenous IRST system features long-range target search navigation capability and passive ranging capability that allows the system to calculate the distance to detected targets without emitting any active signals. The new IRST system will be equipped on the Su-30 fleet from 2026 onwards, and it will also be incorporated into the upcoming Tejas Mark II fighter jets. The Ukrainian Air Force has announced that they encountered a significant challenge as they faced a barrage of 7P-800 missiles, and unfortunately, the air defense systems were unable to intercept any of these Russian missiles flying at speeds of Mach 3. The Indo-Russian BrahMos missile is based on the Russian P-800, and India is working to increase its speed from Mach 3 to Mach 4.5, that will make it a formidable challenge for Chinese and Pakistani air defense systems. The DRDO has successfully developed an advanced ejection seat parachute system for the Su-30 aircraft, that is used by pilot during emergency for safe landing over land or water. With a projected requirement of approximately 350 units over the next five years, the DRDO is actively seeking suitable industrial partners for transfer of technology, that will facilitate large-scale manufacturing. Alpha Design Technologies Limited has announced that it has signed an order to supply 400 indigenously made software-defined radios for main battle tanks operated in forward areas, and the company has also started the manufacturing process. Alpha Design Technologies is also working together with Israel's Elbit Systems to tap the export potential for such systems. The Indian Army has made a strategic decision to rule out the procurement of additional M777 towed artillery guns, and has turned towards upgrading the existing M777 howitzer to 155mm 52 caliber extended range version. Kali Army Group is expecting an order for the 155mm 52 caliber mountain artillery gun extended range variant from the Army very soon as the user trials have shown promising results and strike range of 41 kilometers.